All right, all the countertops have been installed. The dishwasher has been leveled. I haven't made my final connections, but it's been plugged in. Uh, I took the bottom plate off of it to level it and everything like that. And uh, I went ahead and cut this extra inch off of it so it'd be more level. And as you can see, I put a piece of, well, you can't because the drawer's in there. I put a piece of scrap there that I could screw up into so that the it's secured. And I did that all the way around just to make it um, more stable, I guess. Got our hood range here. We're about to install it. And these are super simple to install. Uh, there's a panel on the other side you unscrew and then you can make your wire connection. Now up here, there's a knockout. Now most people, they just run the wire directly in there. But there could be a rough edge and you could short out and eventually you'll burn down your house. They make these little plastic things. You're going to knock that knockout and you're going to put this in there. And one, it keeps the wire from being tugged out. This is the same thing you use in a circuit box, a uh, circuit panel. And two, it um, keeps any rough or sharp edges from stabbing into the wire. And so that's what I recommend doing. We're going to knock this out with a screwdriver and a hammer, run our wire through there and we'll be good. Yeah, once you remove the cover, you can see how easily it's wired. And they have screws inside there. Unfortunately, none of the holes provided line up with anything. So I have to drill. And so I made little dots for the drill. And then everything should line up after that. Well, that took all five minutes, even with um, drilling holes. Anyway, I've wired mine to a plug. Why, you might ask? I'm going to put a plug up there. All right, I got a plug wired up there and it, wire, it plugs directly in. I'll staple that wire to the inside of the cabinet so it doesn't get crazy. And so it's really at a point where if I ever wanted like under the cabinet lighting, there's an extra plug up there and I can snake it around. All right guys, so I went ahead and installed my basket. Uh, you put plumber putty on the inside and you use your giant channel locks. Those are available at Tractor Supply for about 12 bucks. I recommend these, these go to a very big size. That way you don't have to buy a special tool. So I got my beaded silicone all the way around and I only have white silicone. Um, so I just gotta make sure to wipe the edge really well. All right, so the sink's installed, bolted down and the silicone's around it. You can see the uh, plumber's putty and you just peel off the extra. All right guys, so I have a piece of that cut, which is the same stuff, the, the same type of material the uh, countertop's made of. And I'm going to put it on this wall, kind of as a backsplash slash grease shield. All right, it's been rolled onto there and rolled onto the wall. Apparently, I'm supposed to wait for it to get tacky. So it's still tacky and it went to fall off. So I put this piece across there to hold it. And then I shimmed it. And I think it should be good. That glue is nothing to mess with, though. The smells, the fumes. I got the air running because, woo, that stuff is strong. All right, got some pieces of wood wedge to hold it on there. Did that corner too, did it behind the sink. Got my pipes ran and my shut offs on them. So now I'm gonna go underneath the house and I got snake a wire to the fuse box for the uh, stove. All right, so I got the wire going down there. So my water lines are connected. Um, uh, what's next is a drain line, that's an inch and a half. And there's the main sewer line, so it's not that far of a reach. So here's the finished product of the kitchen. Yep, I built this kitchen for about 1200 bucks. Cabinets were next to nothing, $25 a piece. I overbought cabinets, actually bought more. Uh, the kitchen is, with dining room is 13 by 22. Very large, cheapest kitchen I ever was able to build. Very happy with it, looks good. Refrigerator was like 100 bucks. Dryer, I mean, um, not dryer. Uh, stove and dishwasher, I think worth 125 and 75 for that one. Both Whirlpool. So I got a good deal.